Oculus Quest 3 everything we know so far. Now that the Oculus Quest 2 is selling very well, there's a very good chance that a third generation Quest is in the works, and the Oculus Quest 3 could be coming soon. Here is everything we know about Meta's next generation virtual reality headset, its rumored specs and design, and when it could arrive. Given the Oculus Quest 2 is our pick for the best VR, headsets you can buy right now, we'd be keen to see an Oculus Quest 3. Information is thin on the ground here, so a lot of what's ahead is speculation for the time being, but here is what we know and want from the Oculus Quest 3 so far. There have been bubbling rumors that the Oculus Quest 3 will make its debut this spring, but there haven't been any recent leaks or tidbits to hammer that home. As such we'd be a little cautious in saying that a Quest 3 is coming rather soon, towards the second half of the year might be a better bet. Still, the Quest 2 has plenty of life left in it, and looks set to get a form of 120Hz refresh rate upgrade, so it should have enough features to stay relevant for a while. The Quest 2 costs $299 for a 64GB model, and $399 for a 256GB model. Both have sold very well, check out our where to buy Oculus Quest 2 article for more. As such, we'd expect the Oculus Quest 3 to be a direct replacement for its predecessor, likely keeping the same price bands. Ideally, we'd like to see it come in at a slightly lower price just to open up the world of virtual reality to others, but we suspect the Quest 3 isn't likely to drop below the $250 mark. Given its higher specs, the Quest Pro will probably remain at the $299, $399 price. The most obvious spec, the Oculus Quest 3 and Oculus Quest Pro, will have is a 120Hz display by default. The current Quest can support to 120 hertz refresh rate but it needs apps to upscale content to do so a speedy refresh rate out of the box would be much appreciated especially by those who can suffer from motion sickness when using vr headsets according to brad lynch a vr analyst the cambria will use mini led technology whereas the quest 3 will have old displays both should look better than the quest 2s current screens aside from that we can expect there to be an upgraded chipset, likely from Qualcomm. This could be custom silicon, rather than an off-the-shelf chipset. Improved battery life would also be a boon, and a cable bundled into the box, rather than an expensive optional extra, to let you plug the Quest 3 into a gaming PC, would also be on our wishlist. We were very impressed with the Oculus Quest 2, but there's still room for the Quest 3 to deliver improvements. Here is what we'd like to see. Rechargeable controllers, the Quest 2S controllers relied on a single AA battery, each, which delivered around 30 hours of juice. That's not bad, but we feel a USB-C rechargeable battery pack would be a boon, as well as more environmentally friendly. Boosted hand tracking controls, improved hand tracking would be appreciated in the Quest 3, as we found that in the Quest 2 it could be a little finickety and not hugely intuitive. Even higher refresh rate, a 120Hz refresh rate is great, but a 144Hz, or higher refresh rate for super smooth VR games, and experiences is on our wish list. More Oculus apps, the Oculus Store is not short on VR apps and games, but are always keen to see more. Games that really deliver immersive VR experiences, rather than more arcade-like action, could help the Quest 3 stand apart from its predecessor. The success of the Quest 2 means Facebook can simply refine the Oculus Quest 3 and be on to a winner. Ideally, we'd rather see it push things further on both the hardware and software sides. By offering an all-in-one VR system that can deliver truly immersive virtual experiences, we could then see the still reasonably niche world of virtual reality become increasingly mainstream, leading to more apps and games to feed our greedy eyes and hands.